centres of the country, the cathedrals are not edible. <laughs> it was the 70th anniversary of VE Day this week when Allied forces formally defeated the Nazis and Russia went all out to mark the occasion. Russia's biggest ever Victory Day parades to mark 70 years since the Nazi surrender. 16,000 servicemen, nearly 200 units of hardware, 140 helicopters and planes. Cameras had been placed in every conceivable location, embedded in the road, and on board some of the aircraft taking part in a fly past. Yes, and we don't just have cameras there. We also have cameras on the horse foot. <laughs> and even inside Putin's mouth. <laughs> Many cameras for you to enjoy. Many cameras. <laughs> but, but as, as triumphant, as triumphant as the parade was, you couldn't help feeling like there was something missing. Today's parade was attended by some 20 world leaders. But President Vladimir Putin had invited more than 70. Most Western leaders stayed away in protest over Russia's actions in Ukraine. Ouch. Less than a third of invitees showed up. And it actually got even sadder when you look at Putin's outgoing texts halfway through the parade, including, where you at? <laughs> you on your way? And more of a gathering than a party, but you should death swing by. <laughs> That's heartbreaking, or it would be if Putin's heart was not a potato filled with battery acid. <laughs> but in fact, with so many Western leaders not turning up, the parade attendees amounted to a who's who of who Putin hasn't pissed off. Chinese President Xi Jinping was the most prominent visitor. Robert Mugabe of Zimbabwe, another willing guest. OK, well, <laughs> get, getting the Chinese president is pretty good, but no one in the course of human history has ever said, well, at least Mugabe came. <laughs> To be fair, th th there was actually an American presence there in the form of Steven Seagal. And I, I would say it's the last place that you'd expect to see Steven Seagal, but that wouldn't be true because that place, of course, is a movie set. Uh, I, I'm just saying, he's the only action star who was literally too expendable for the Expendables. But, but despite all this spectacle, this parade was not actually the most awe-inspiring thing that Russia did to commemorate VE Day, because there was another military tribute in Russia this week that was simply breathtaking. This is the way Laska and her friend Vinnie the Pooh salute their superiors, as now they are not just seals, but Baikal special forces, waking up early, physical training, and of course, shooting practice. of the parade in Red Square. In fact, how was that not the only thing there? There is frankly nothing that projects a country's greatness like two heavily armed seals in berets. Bravo, Russia. Bravo.